Okay, hey everybody. I did a Periscope this morning and talked about how you could let uh, your tenants pay for your rent and I totally forgot that we have this ongoing saga with the house in Jefferson City. So if you remember, in October we had three applications come in. One guy didn't have any money, one guy wasn't ever going to get the mortgage, and the other guy had some money and he could get a mortgage within like a year or two. So we took him. We all agreed he was perfect. And then I told you last week, or earlier in December, that he didn't pay. So I sent an eviction notice. Well, guess what was in my bank account this morning after everything rolled in yesterday? His money. He paid. He's caught up. Uh, well, he's not caught up. Wrong word. He paid November and December's rent. I spoke to him on the phone. He said that he, he said, Wit, I know I still owe the late fees. I did not have that, but I'll get that to you. I said, what about the option fee? Yeah, I'll get that to you also. So, sent the eviction notice, and he came back. Came back to life. I'd been calling. I'd been doing everything I could to get him back, and nothing worked. So... I don't know what happened, but, I mean, I guess the eviction notice. He's back. So we're good. We're back to where we should be. So back to the lease options are wonderful. And even if they're not, sometimes an eviction notice is all it takes to get somebody back into where they need to be. So um, I think I sent that eviction right before Christmas. And he is still late on the notice, but he did pay up. And as long as he's going to pay up, then I'll be okay with him. I'm working on a webinar about auctions. A-U, auction. Not option, O-P, but auctions. Um, is anybody interested in buying houses at auctions? Hit the little guy, if you are. Hey, Tessa. Okay. So, I'm trying to set up a webinar for Friday morning on how to buy at auctions. And there's a couple different auctions that you can do. And I may do another Periscope in the morning talking about different auctions. And to see if I can get some interest in it. Because I don't want to go through it and set it all up if nobody really wants to buy anything at auction. I think it's great. I think it's a great way to sell. But I want to make sure that people want to know about it before I go through everything to get it done. So I am working on that and I will send out a tweet or a Instagram or whatever if and when we decide to do it. But I'm thinking about doing Friday morning at 8, how to buy real estate at auction. So let me know what you think. Send me an email, info at WhitneyNicely.com. Uh, you can find out how to sell at auction. I do real estate, online real estate auctions in Tennessee and in Georgia. And the way I do it is we have a marketing fee and you pay us to auction your property, which is different than the way other people do it. They usually take the marketing fee out of their commissions. But I have found that the sellers are more motivated. They will keep the house clean. They will be glad to show it if they paid for me to do my job. So we put the properties out on acre.bid, A-C-R-E dot B-I-D, like bid it up. And we sell high-end, large tracts of land with fancy houses, online auctions. Uh, I am in Tennessee and Georgia, and that's how we sell it. Uh, they are not absolute, they're reserved, so if you have a property that you want to sell quickly, you know, it takes us about six weeks to get the market good and warm, and then sell it. So, it's totally possible that we could get you cashed out in 90 days or less. That is not a good option for somebody who is behind on their payments, because they can't pay the marketing fee, they usually owe too much, um, those people are good candidates for owner financing. But if you've got, you know, a million dollar lake house that's been listed with three or four different agents, instead of listing it with the fourth or fifth agent, you could auction it. Auctions are known to 
bring the market value of a property on a particular day and time. And people get excited about auctions. They bid. They battle back and forth. It would bring as much attention to your property as possible. That's, I guess, an overview of how to sell at auction. Did that make sense to you? Is that okay? Y'all there? Okay, thanks. Um, do you have any other questions? That's a good question. I'll uh, dig in and get a better response for that. And if you have any other questions, info at WhitneyNicely.com. Okay, good. Um, Acre.bid. Do you have to pay for the marketing in cash? Yes. Do you have to pay for the property in cash? No. If it is, let's say, a cheap little, you know, crack house, then probably somebody's going to be there with cash. Yes. If it's a million dollar property, somebody's going to be there uh, with the mortgage ready. They're going to bring their own mortgage broker and they're going to be ready. Since we are online, we require... I don't know if it's a percentage, but it would be a pretty large chunk of money put into an escrow account so that we know you are a serious buyer. You're not just running up our bid. If you have 500000 in cash and the property sells for 500000 then yes, you are more than welcome to pay in cash. If you want it for five hundred and you need to finance most of it, that's between you and your broker, your mortgage broker. Uh, we also work with agents. So if you are an agent, either anywhere in the country, because we are all across the country, then you can, you know, you can pay a fee to put it in our listing. We do these deluxe broker auctions so that one broker has, you know, 10 or 15 properties in one sale. And that's really cool because a lot of brokers call us when they're at the end of the listing and they still want to get paid for all their marketing and all their effort and all the times they went to the open house and all the times they showed it and all the times they talked to some other agent. The brokers want to get paid. So they'll unfortunately wait until the end of the listing. If, they, if the brokers would call us at the beginning of the listing, we could sell it a lot faster for maybe more money because... As soon as that, market, that property hits the market, that's when it's the hottest. So if we're waiting until, you know, eight months in to sell it so that you get it sold within your 12-month contract, it's pretty well fizzled. If you put it on the market uh, for a week, you get zero bites. That's the best time to call us because something's either wrong with your marketing or something's wrong with the price. And I would rather work on it from the very beginning than get to the end and be under a deadline. Did that help answer your question? I should write these questions down. Cash. How to sell. What was the other question? See, this is why I like Blab, is I can keep up with all the questions. I'm on Blab, too, at Whip Buys Houses. Every Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. All women, all real estate. Okay. Well, I appreciate y'all stopping in. I won't take up any more of your time. Thanks a bunch, and I'll see you soon. Bye.